Ugh, she's so annoying. Ugh. What's up, you guys? It is Aaron Wilds Out TV coming to you with another video, you guys. I am so sorry for this late ash review. Please forgive me. I was being lazy. I needed some time to regroup and to give y'all a proper review. So please bear with me and let's get this shit underway, okay? Guys, we're here for the Come Up Miami episode three. Let's get into it. The, the show starts off with Javier and Bam Bam catching up to chat. Javier ain't show up to the uh, the brunch um, last episode. Bam recaps to him what went down at Lamaja's brunch. Bam immediately shades Sean again. It was a lot. It was hilarious. There's a bunch of sweaty pits and everything like that. Next scene, which shows Sean talks about his YouTube gay um gay guy talk show. It talks about his inspirations, which is Wendy Williams, Ellen, um, Arsenio. And on his show, he has this guest, I forgot the man's name. They talk about threesome etiquette. Hmm. I have that experience once or twice. If anybody would like a story time of a threesome experience that I had, please put it in the comment section below. If y'all want it, if, if y'all want it, I would gladly talk about it. Okay. okay. The next the next scene goes on to uh, Bam and his one of his close friends who um, is like a sister to him. This is when Bam opens up about his life, and I love the fact that the um, viewers is getting a uh, another glimpse into Bam's life and how hard the life Bam has lived. You know and. All the the obstacles and all the the heartache he has to endure, he has endured. He talks about his life. He talks about his mother being a cartel, being in a cartel family, now being incarcerated. He, he then um, goes into talk about his dad abusing him for being gay, him building walls up. He had to fight constantly which he never had to do before. Him being homeless, his family abandoning him, and him having to strip and get his money and to provide for his, uh, to provide for for him. And to, and talks about his, his, the love of his life, which is his grandma being the only one that saved his life. I, I, I love that scene with him explaining everything I, I absolutely love that scene and it gives a glimpse into Bam's life and how hard he has had it. Off of that situation, Miles Prince and Lamarge meets up. Lamarge tells the guys that his home is being constructed on. Him and um, basically going to invite them to another event with Vogan and a runway. Yeah. They also get into Prince's relationship. They talk about the, the issues in Prince's relationship. They talk they 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 talk about a straight friend sucking his boyfriend's dick. That ain't no straight friend. That's a DL brother. That's a DL trade. DL trade. I live for it, child. You gotta love the DL trade. Mm. All right. Next scene is Jovair, Bam Bam, Miles, Prince, and Lamaj. They play Never Have I Ever. Mouse tells people that he's a webcam model. Now, within this conversation, Mouse feels like Lamarge had a judgmental tone to him. And baby, Mouse could care less about it. He's like, baby, I pay my bills with this. My mother knows about it. I could care less if you feel the way you feel. I I 
absolutely loved Mal sticking up for himself. I absolutely love Mal in this episode. I just love Mal's overall. I love his attitude. I love how ch I love the chillness in him. He's such a king. I love that Miles is so not for the drama and that he's going to put in his commentary. He's going to be like, oh, he was wrong. He was right. He, I love the fact that he has an opinion about it. So I absolutely love Miles in this episode. Well, guys, that was it for this episode. It wasn't much to this episode. You know, we're still... You know, we're still moving along. The story is still moving along. So, guys, please like, comments. So, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Please click that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And please follow all of my social media. Please, please follow all of my social media. And please, guys, I can't stress this enough. Please do not forget to vote this November. Please, please, please do not forget to vote. Please make your voices heard this November. I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Okay? Bye!